have the focus of your inquiry in this module the conflict as we see it between the Catholic Church and the safety of children. In our submission, the Catholic Church in many ways is inimical to the safety of children in its care. There are four aspects we say to that. The first is the theology of the Catholic Church, its teaching and practice. That is not simply a concern of victims of abuse, but it is clearly one of concern to the Benedictine community. Because I read from Richard Yeo's statement at paragraph 174, the EBC was pleased to be one of the sponsors of a conference in 2016 which aimed at promoting research into whether there are elements in Catholic theology which might tend to encourage abusive behaviour. He adds, inevitably, it will be a long time before that research yields any results. It's a matter we invite you to consider in this inquiry now. Secondly, and again this is a concern raised by Richard Yeo, is the legal status of religious congregations. They have no legal identity. They are unincorporated associations. They are therefore not bound and cannot be made bound to any national standards that we might seek to impose upon them. Thirdly, is the hierarchy and structure of the Catholic Church. It is a hierarchy where a huge amount of power is vested in a few senior individuals. Too much power, we say, is vested in the bishops, the abbots, and the provincials. It means there is inevitably a lack of independent oversight. Fourthly, the culture and tradition of the Catholic Church and the Benedictine community. It is one which inhibits transparency. It is one which is described in esoteric language where members dress in distinctive clothes, where the monasteries are set in rarefied and beautiful surroundings. They trade on providing a fine and expensive education. But it is a Harry Potter world of beguiling charm that invites a high degree of trust and indeed receives a high degree of trust. And therein lies the danger. These are not concerns simply of those in this room and I've referred in written submissions to the concerns expressed by the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child in their document concluding observations on the second periodic report of the Holy See from February 2014. To quote, the committee re reiterates its concern about the Holy See's reservations to the Convention which undermine the full recognition of children as subjects of rights and condition the application of the Convention on its compatibility with the sources of law of Vatican City State. In other words, there is something inimical between the Catholic Church and the safety of children 
that is recognized not only by the core participants in this room, recognized not only by even the Benedictine congregation itself, but by the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child. And therefore, we invite your attention and focus in this inquiry to those concerns.